Welcome back for another video tutorial brought to you by GraphicDesignerTips.com. What I want to speak about today in this tutorial is how to use the scale tool in Adobe Illustrator. Um, the scale tool is important for uh, many reasons. Uh, it helps you get the desired effect you want uh, a lot quicker than you know actually selecting a whole element and dragging it uh, and uh, transforming it yourself. Um, you know, if you know you need it uh, to be exactly half the size that it is, uh, you can reduce it by exactly 50%. Um, as opposed to if you highlighted this whole logo and then you know just kind of eyed it up. So um, another important thing is uh, there are strokes. Um, these are strokes right here with brushes on them. So uh, like this green and this and this red on the outside. So we want to make sure when we scale this, these strokes don't get messed up. So uh, this logo is rather large right now and in for the purpose of this tutorial the whole point uh, the whole goal that we want to do is make sure that this logo fits down here in this business card which is set up as a, a two, two by three and a half which is a standard business card um, so if you didn't know what the scale tool was you would just basically think alright let's select the logo and let's grab the corner hold shift and we're gonna scale this down but if we zoom in you're going to notice that what happened with the strokes on these the strokes did not scale down meaning whatever this stroke is the value of it is now that's the value it was before so if it was 10 points before now it's still 10 points but it's 10 percent of the size maybe it's 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 a tiny thumbnail um, from where it was so we're going to undo that by hitting command Z alright we're gonna do that right there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to the scale tool which is also the letter S on the keyboard and while we have this whole image selected we're going to double click the tool over here so double click that and we could do a couple things we could scale this uniform uh, you know, so it's going to be uh, pulled in from all four sides, and uh, that's what we're going to be doing. Or you can do it non-uniform and do it custom. But in this case, we're going to maybe go down to 30%, and you can uncheck the preview and check it again to see what happens. Now you're going to notice that those those strokes are still not correct. The way we're going to fix that is by coming over here and clicking Scale Strokes and Effects. Now I'm going to uncheck that again and you're going to see what happens. All right, we're going to hit OK. OK, and there you go. That's how you scale down without ruining any of your strokes and scaling down the right way. You also want to scale up the right way uh, because you just want to make sure that everything is, uh, especially with the strokes, uh, whether you're you know doing anything with logos and logos have a lot of strokes on them in some cases uh, strokes on text strokes on elements and and photos uh, that's the correct way of doing this stuff uh, don't just assume everything that you pull and squeeze is going to uh, turn out like you want it so uh, that's it guys graphicdesignertips.com uh, check it out any questions comments let me know uh, have a good night thank you for joining us peace